I remember specifically I had to like put all kinds of gear inside like this taped off area in the studio because someone else was going to come and load it onto the car and I just mm-hmm. like, okay, this area and I wrote all the tape. It's like, please take this. Everything's pointing towards it. <laughs> You may know him as a camera guy working for Smosh, but I'm sure he has many layers beyond that. Please welcome Brennan Iktani to the podcast. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing good. So just to start off, you're the camera guy working at Smosh, who I'm sure is very well known in the YouTube space. Um, how did you like start with photography, videography, just working with cameras in general? I think I, I started in um, college. I actually went to college for uh, like jazz originally because mm-hmm. I played jazz guitar, but um, found out everyone there was way better than me at it, so I just kind of stopped. And um, this trial was like undeclared, and I saw that there was a film major, and so I joined the film major. And um, through those people that I met there, uh, this was at, up in Sacramento, where Smosh is from, mm-hmm. and um, like um, people were somewhat on like the Smosh crew. And when someone left, the camera guy left from there. Uh, they recommended me, and I've mm-hmm. been there for about six years now. Mm-hmm. So you've definitely seen many versions of Smosh. Many people come in and out through six years. Um, That was going to be my next question. How do you get the job? But you mostly answered that. Um, So, like, your first day on set or at work at Smosh, what was that like and what was that feeling you had? See, I I remember the first episode, and I think it was was at least six years ago. It was like... Something about emojis and Steve Jobs. It was weird, but <laughs> as uh, most being there, things are, yeah, being there for the first time, um, it's kind of intimidating because uh, there's not a whole lot of production up in Sacramento that's doing mm-hmm. like sketch comedy or anything. It's pretty much um, it was like just Smosh, and otherwise you work for like the Capitol doing all kinds of politics and. Um, um, yeah, I walked on the set, uh, did not know what to expect. I was the B camera operator, um, and they had a whole crew. It was nice. It was all darkly lit because it was supposed to be like a dungeon, and I met everybody that day that uh, that would be the Sacramento crew that we worked together for about two years there, and, yeah, and then we moved to L.A. Mm-hmm. A lot of them stayed in SAC, though. So I'm sure, like... Cool. I'm sure the behind the scenes of the crew for Smosh videos are so much bigger than people think. How many people does it usually take behind the scenes to put on one of these Smosh productions? Um, it's grown, and it's it's uh, it used to be a lot less, and then it was a lot of people, and now it's like back down because of COVID. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I would say on my team, there's three people. Our team, there's three people. It's it's like at least 10, maybe 12 people just on, like, the production side. Mm-hmm. Definitely more. And then, like, all the cast, right? So yeah. the cast is, like, 13 people themselves. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it, it, yeah, it's a very uh, well-oiled machine, I would say, mm-hmm. to where we all kind of been doing this, especially in, like, the COVID times. Like, we've had to do a lot of preparation, and we've just a lot of, like, Excel sheets and stuff like that. Yeah. So are you yeah. mostly filming everything, or, or is there a series or two that you mostly specifically film and stick to those? Uh, I, I most do all the... I, I think I do every single um, scripted content, we call it, which is like mm-hmm. a, uh, the, the main channel uploads. Yeah. And then... I will also kind of be in charge of what cameras are on all the un- unscripted ones, which is like Pit mm-hmm. and Games. Mm-hmm. And um, the podcast, I don't touch at all. Though. <laughs> That's Kevin Rigg. And, yeah. 
he does that. And they haven't done the podcast very often, but uh, lately. Mm-hmm. But when they do, I usually just uh, let Kevin do that. It's great. Mm-hmm. So we have been mentioning all of them, like Smosh Pit, Smosh Games. There are so many different outlets that Smosh has, so many different series. Do you have like a favorite video series that Smosh does or a favorite type of Smosh video? Um, well, I like all the scripted ones because then I get to experiment mm-hmm. the most, right? It's all, it's always different. Yeah, and it can be like yeah. your favorite ones to watch or the ones you like the most or just your favorite to help put on and help come make them come to life. Uh, yeah, the games ones are pretty fun because you just never know where it's going to go. Mm-hmm. And um, I do feel like our cast is really special when they're like not confined to a script and they have they have like just their raw personalities or when they have like some character that they've come at with mm-hmm. and then they're that whole character the entire episode. And it's just it's so much talent just in being able to do that, like committing for an hour to just like improving off of one character. So like shooting games videos, it's it's usually very small set and um yeah, this it's like very, very fun to shoot games videos, I think. Mm-hmm. It's fun too, it's just a bigger set and you're less of a like an integral part because there's like three camera proof people and then when I shoot games it's usually just me or this other person named Gus. And so, like, preparation for a video, how long does it typically set take to set up all those cameras, set up all the behind-the-scenes stuff? Um, for unscripted stuff, pit and games, uh, usually um, to set up pit probably doesn't take too long. I would, I would say you could do it in like an hour because it's about, mm-hmm. depends on what video we're shooting, really. Yeah. If there's a lot of camera angles, there's like a top-down camera or um, a Garrett camera, whatever random thing, uh, it could take a second. Mm-hmm. And usually we're pretty good at, uh, for the turnover times between like shooting videos because we'll shoot some video, like an eat it or eat it, or a, and then we'll hop into something completely different and we have to reposition cameras to where we know they would be for those episodes. Mm-hmm. And it, it really doesn't take that long nowadays because we kind of know where they should all go. And then games is usually always set up, which is awesome because I don't mm-hmm. really have to <laughs> move cameras around that often mm-hmm. um, because they do Twitch live from there. So those cameras are pretty much always yeah. stuck yeah, and locked into position. Mm-hmm. So we went over the first time you stepped onto a Smosh set of your six years there. Do you have a favorite moment at Smosh or a favorite time being at Smosh? Oh, man. I don't know. Um, I like some of the, the location shoots we've done or some, like, Smosh games, uh, summer games that we've done where it's like the whole crew gets to hang out for a bit. Yeah. You're just like hanging out with a whole, with your buddies. Like I've made so many friends just from uh, Smosh. Pretty much all my friends in Los Angeles are from Smosh because of that. Everyone kind of comes a little bit from Smosh. Yeah. And um, uh, I don't have a particular favorite moment that I can think of. Uh, no, but it, it would probably be something like hanging out during like a summer game or something. Yeah, so for Smosh Summer Games, when you typically travel to a location, how much work does it take to move all that camera stuff you need or all the behind-the-scenes equipment to wherever you're filming? Um, Well, from camera, uh, because I'm not sure what would go into the rest of the production, but at least what I had to prepare for the last Summer Games we did, which was Apocalypse, which was out in the desert of California, Mm -hmm. um... That probably took me like a solid two to kind of eight to five when we from where it was because uh, I wasn't the actual director of photography at that time, so mm-hmm. I was mostly the in-house camera guy. I just knew where all the stuff was, and um, yeah. probably um, probably like a day of just figuring out what we need, and then a day of assembling. Um, all the different cameras we needed, and 
whatever rental we needed, packaging it up, and then outlining. So, like, I remember specifically, I had to like put all kinds of gear inside like this taped off area in the studio because someone else was going to come and load it down to the car and I just mm-hmm. like, okay this area and I wrote all the tape it's like please take this everything's pointing towards it and no it, it's not that it isn't actually that hard once you're like familiar with all the gear so mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah and so for this past summer games you didn't did you actually go out to where they were filming, or did you just kind of get everything ready to be moved? Um, yeah, the one about two years ago, uh, yeah, we went out to shoot, and it was hot. It was in the desert. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was definitely out there. I was yeah. mostly doing a lot of stills photography for um, like behind the scenes, because we had about five op- camera operators otherwise. So I was always like the last one to hop on a camera if we needed it. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> there was a a video we did that was like a paintball video for that. Yeah, and it was like six of us all holding cameras, running around while they're sh- doing paintballing, and uh, that's kind of scary. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that's scary because you might get hit with the paintball, but I'm sure it's not great for one of the cameras actually to get hit with the paintball. In that can't be. Oh, no, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that that was a uh, that was risky, <laughs> but uh, we're we're okay. Every camera is still around from that. Mm-hmm. So if you've been there for six years. Obviously, you were there when during the Defy shutdown and Smosh got acquired. I think is the right word by Good Mythical Morning. What was that like? And what was kind of like the unsure feeling of what was going to happen like for someone employed by Smosh? Uh, well, let's see, that was, that was interesting, right, because, and, um, everyone I knew worked at Smosh, really, or through, uh, worked at Defy, so, um, everybody that I knew in LA lost their job at the same time, mm-hmm. so that was kind of, we're all, we're like, oh, okay, uh, well, well. <laughs> and then, it was kind of weird, because, Obviously, we didn't know what was going to happen with the brand, and um, um, the director at the time, Ryan Todd, he uh, he just kind of asked a few of us if we could help out shooting some videos, you know, uh, for free, uh, just like at Ian's house or yeah. or something like that. And uh, we would uh, we shot like five videos that way, and uh, just to kind of like keep an upload going, which is pretty crazy. Mm-hmm. Uh, they weren't like hard to shoot really at all yeah. and then yeah then it, w- it was really fast how like Rhett and Link and Mythical were um, able to acquire them because we thought we would be in like a hiatus for a long time but mm-hmm. um, no no it was uh, I guess like the next day Ian actually got a message he just didn't know didn't realize it <laughs> after the fight went down <laughs> so Mm-hmm. It, it was a uh, yeah, it was so insane. Just like kind of being an aimless person for a bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all of my friends that had jobs, no jobs, and then none of them needed a camera person because they didn't have a job. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was interesting. yeah. So it sounds like you went from college straight into your work at Smosh, or were there other jobs you've had, photography or? otherwise outside of Smosh? Yeah, it was probably like two, three years mm-hmm. after college that I got on Smosh. Uh, for a while, I was like a photographer for a car dealership in the Bay Area, mm-hmm. California. And uh, that job was not fun at all. Because um, there's so many cars. It turns out they want pro- so many photos of so many cars. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, that was a hard job, but, um, to drive the Bay Area to all these different trips, and maybe there would be a car there that I'd take a picture of, Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe not, but I would still get yelled at, even if, like, the car was in the shop, so it was kind of a, kind of a lame job, but it, you know, it was with a camera. And then I started working for, um, 
something called Cow Channel, which was like, you know, like C-SPAN? Yeah. It's kind of like um, just the Calif... It was the California version of like C-SPAN to where we broadcasted political stuff from the Capitol. It was, it was yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that, yeah, that company doesn't exist anymore. Um, but while I was working there, uh, my friend... Um, told me about Smosh and I got on Smosh so I would alternate like weeks going to Smosh and working at Cal Channel and then it was just all Smosh after a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think I've seen that like cast members of Smosh have had like Instagram photos and whatever taken by you. Are those just kind of usually somewhat spur of the moment like on a set or do you take time other than filming videos to go and shoot those with them? Uh, usually it's spur of the moment. Very rarely will it be like, hey, let's go shoot photos. Mm -hmm. Unless it's like for merch, right? Because mm -hmm. we kind of have to do that. Uh, but yeah, very absolutely spur of the moment, I would say. Like, I'll have my cameras nearby or on me. Just like, uh, it'll be a film camera because I like to mix it up. <laughs> and, and, um, yeah, I'll just kind of, all of a sudden, maybe I'll be like, Damien, and then he'll look at me and I'll just take a picture, and mm. and then I'll have to like wait a few weeks, and then it'll get developed, and eventually I'll scan it, and I'll send it to him, and I'll be like, cool, man. <laughs> yeah. no. um, it's pretty spur of the moment, and then sometimes I'll bring like a larger camera, which is not really a point and shoot at all, so I'll have to be like, mm. okay, everybody kind of just stay, and it'll and I'll click a shutter and it won't work because I forgot to turn it on. And then I'll be like, all right, let's go again. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. So at any level of camera expertise, you still have things like, oh, I forgot to turn it on, forgot to take the cover off the lens. Yeah, that happens a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm kind of ashamed of that. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, Ian is always the first to point out that my lens cap is on my camera. Yeah, well, I'm not fully sure about the rest, but he's probably had like almost the most experience being in front of the camera with how long he's been doing Smosh and other oh, stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, he's been doing it at least 15 years. Yeah. yeah. For sure. <laughs> I point, pointed many a camera towards the end. Nowadays. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so... You've gone through, like we said, many different casts of Smosh over six years because the cast seems to be an ever-changing, ever-evolving cast. Do you have, like, a favorite or some favorite members that have gone through? Um, they're all great in their own way. <laughs> um, uh, I would say the person that I probably, like, bond with the most is probably uh, Shane mm -hmm. and then Courtney and yeah everyone's really yeah. really nice in their own everyone's very genuine too like uh, Keith's great and uh, they're all great man <laughs> everyone's really cool Olivia's hilarious too mm -hmm. and so obviously it might be in a different way but is the cast still like their personality are that lively off camera and just as charismatic as they are on camera as they are off of it? I would say the person most like they are on camera would probably be like a Damien or Shane. But mm -hmm. yeah, everyone kind of like, they they do kind of save it a little bit for the camera, yeah. right? They don't want to go 24-7. Well, yeah, I'm sure... <laughs> With the way they are in front of the camera, if you did that all day, every day, that'd be too much energy for no, one person. Now you need a nuclear reactor for that. Uh, but, yeah, they're, uh, no, they're still really funny. Everyone's real, like, baseline really funny already to begin with, so. Just mm -hmm. like to quickly, some of these conversations. Yeah. yeah. And so I'm sure over six years, the behind-the-scenes of Smosh uh, has changed, changed also. Um, what is it like kind of seeing Smosh go from, maybe you weren't there at quite this point, but like 
just Ian and Anthony shooting what they are to now having, like, each video has, like, a director, they have full credits for each video with, like, who the cast is, like, you have camera operator, director of photography, it's almost really, like, a real production for every video, what, would it, what is it like seeing all that change behind the scenes? Well, let's see, I would say just the difference between, like, because we shot last week, and the difference between probably, like, the earliest set I was on and last week doesn't seem too different. Like, all the people have changed but, mm -hmm. um, behind the scenes. But um, um, I feel, yeah, if, with all the different directors, it's really interesting because it used to be Ryan Todd for the longest time, and now we've had, like, a rotating director pool of mostly Ryan Finnerty, who, who was, like, the, the lead writer for the longest time. Mm -hmm. and um, and he's like the executive producer and like under him would be like these different directors like we've had Courtney do a lot um, it's interesting because each person has like their own way of going about directing and like how much they want to be involved with like the camera discussion so the way I've always seen like I used to have a really simple job of me showing up and just pointing at the camera but now I have to like really think about oh, we need a camera, and where am I going to get this camera, or where mm. where am I going to put these lights? I didn't used to focus on the lights until this year, really. Mm -hmm. Now that I'm actually the full DP. <laughs> yeah. It's kind, of, it's kind of rough, yeah. <laughs> Having to, like, re... Like, being on set and be like, oh, man, I've never really... I feel like I've never actually been on this set mm -hmm. <laughs> sometimes. Yeah. Um, so... It just happened, I think, like, today or very recently. Sarah Whittle is leaving Smosh and leaving her job at Smosh. Was that, like, how long did you know about that before today when Smosh really kind of made it public and came out with all these, like, I think they came out with, like, a video everyone started posting about involved with Smosh. How, was that, like... You just recently learned about it, or you kind of knew about it for a while and were getting ready for this? Well, this is news to me. No, uh, uh, let's see. She, uh, it's been over like at least a month for us, I think, knowing. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, it's been a while. Like, we've prepared for this kind of, like, day. Because mm -hmm. it was all kind of, like, hush-hush until then. And, um, yeah, no, it was... Uh, it's not a surprise to anyone within the company. Yeah. Really. And she's, like, leaving on her own terms. It's very cool. I'm going to miss her because she's great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she's fun to work with, and uh, she's very creative. And, yeah, she can really drive a set, too, which is mm -hmm. great, because you always need someone to, like, get you to the end. Yeah. Or, like, when you when you think you're, um, okay, we got that, let's move on kind of thing. So, mm -hmm. I'm going to miss that efficiency. I think they did it maybe twice, but I think it was once before they had, like, videos, like, kind of integrating more of the behind-the-scenes people or the cast people. Like, I think they had a Try Not to Laugh where they involve, like, a lot of their, like, social media managers or people behind the scenes that we don't really get to see. Do you wish they could do more stuff like that? And if so, would you be interested in joining in in something like that? Ah, oh, no, I, I wouldn't want to be in front of the camera necessarily, <laughs> but... <laughs> um, After six years, you've yeah. gone kind of comfortable behind the camera rather than in front I, of it. I, I, kind of, I know where I do my job best, mm -hmm. um, but <laughs> yeah, it's, um, it's fun because everyone at, uh, on, the, uh, on the crew are really cool, so uh, I do like when we do that because it's, it's fun to see um, like our editors or, or like Kevin Rigg just use all his pure strength to lift somebody up and uh, just be <laughs> and uh, yeah I really like that I, I wish we did some more of it because sometimes it's like uh, we'll do a video we did the video with like a dancing crew members but like I feel like we didn't know those crew members like um, people outside of Smosh didn't really know the crew members couldn't really yeah. it's not too bad but it is cool seeing, like, um, we have Spencer and Tommy and uh, some, someone else, I'm sure. <laughs> They'll show up in video. Garrett will show yeah. up in videos, and they used to just be, like, crew. So it's, it's always fun. 
but yeah, I've definitely I've seen that. Like it. over time, Tommy's definitely gotten more integrated into like the try not to laugh series. Yeah, yeah, and he, and he still has like another job outside of just or it, within Smosh, <laughs> like having to do his normal job. Yeah, he's also talented. So well, he's he's very behind great. a lot of the like spoof like music or music videos that Smosh does. Yeah, he's hilarious. <laughs> Well, those are all the questions I had for you today. Thank you so much for yeah. coming on and giving this us this behind-the-scenes look at Smosh. Uh, feel free to plug Instagram, anything else you do, uh, right here, and they can all follow you there. Well, I don't have anything but Instagram. Technically, I have a Twitter, but I don't really pay attention to that. Um, which I think is, hold on, let me look. I don't know what it is. B dot Kikatani I K E T A N I. That's my handle. Okay. Is that what it's called? A handle? I don't even know. I don't know. <laughs> and it's also like everyone calls it different things. Username, handle, tag, yeah. whatever. At. I'm so old. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like, well, thank you again for coming on. <laughs> nice talking to you. Christian Dior, yeah, knock, knock, got peas at the door, knock, yeah, knock, 30 point gon' score, yeah, woo, mama hammer like Thor, yeah, wow, sip it's on oil, yeah, skr, skr, yeah, water gon' boil, yeah, skr, 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 sk